You think you meant that? Oh, yes. I think you'll be getting a specific invitation one day very soon. Ah, yes, I guess I'll do that to it better, huh? <laughs> I guess you'd better. Nobody used that expression to my mama. 
Now you're sure you're not. Miss Hawkins, you may not believe this. I'm sure. Because you're not going to be able to fool the doctor, what you You call the doctor? Well, of course I did. Becky, it's not normal for a girl your age just to fall down faint on the floor like Miss that. Miss Hawkins, I ain't got no money. Well, if you do that to me, and the doctor, I call one of those young fellas from the free clinic. Don't even know if he's going to charge you anything. I ain't never heard of the doctor don't charge. Well, neither have I. We're sick. Anyway, it's too late to stop him now. He said he was going to come right over as soon as he hung up for talking to me. I betcha. But that's him now. You finish your tea, I'll let him in. Yeah, I'd like you to answer as honestly as you can. When was the last 
and you had a decent meal. What's today? Thursday. Well, not before last. I see. You're not on any one of those uh, diets or anything. No, sir. Can you wait right there? I'll be right back. I must have been eight or 
nine years old, I remember every day of this Sunday. Can I wear it, please, please? <laughs> now you're a grown woman. You've got a necklace of your own. So I'm so proud of you. You've grown into a wonderful young woman. <laughs> well, I think everyone had a really good time tonight, don't you? I know I did. I think Fran did too, though. I mean, he seemed a lot better than usual. Jenny's a very good influencer. Yes, she is. She's terrific. But I guess I don't have to tell you that. No, honey. You don't have to tell me that. Well, I, uh, I think I'll go to bed. Early day tomorrow. Thanks for the birthday, Daddy. Sure. It, it was wonderful. Coming up soon. Um, Marco's going to come over. Just for a little while, he, he's going to bring me a present. I, you know, he asked and I just, I couldn't make myself take care of that. No, I don't suppose you could. Good night, honey. Oh, okay. Uh, you must realize, just a token, the real present comes 
natural that I might be thinking about Sam. I don't think it's natural for you to think about either of them when I'm trying to kiss you. Oh, Brad, I don't know why you're getting so angry. You're the one who insisted that I go to that birthday party. Well, why did you have to let him kiss you? He didn't kiss me. His lips just brushed against my teeth. Yeah, well, damn it, he's got no right to do that either. You think he doesn't have the right to breathe? <laughs>
Thank you, Mrs. Well, little fella. See your bright-eyed bushy tails?
Bert, please, no arguments. There won't be an argument, Jenny. I have an appointment. I'll just have time to make it. Enjoy the record. Are you getting a little gifts now? Brad. The vase replaced the one that I broke last night. Thank you. I went out and bought it first thing this morning. Go I'm the one that should be furious, you know. I don't know what you're upset about. Brad, I am not going to take this anymore. Well, I'm the one that came in here and found my father making a big play for you. Now, will you please tell me what the hell are you upset about? Who I see and what I do with my life is none of your business. Well, then I'll tell you exactly what I told the old man. Everything that you do is my business. Brad, we are not engaged. We're not even committed to each other. And I'm not your slave. Look, Jenny, just because I happen to love you enough to get jealous and to pull my stack occasionally, it doesn't mean I'm trying to make you into a slave. Brad, why do you equate love with violence? I think you'd be flattered that I care that much. I am not flattered by emotional blackmail. Whatever the hell that means. It means that whenever you don't get your own way, you throw a tantrum and try to get me to let you have your own way. And it's just not going to work. I'm late. Okay, all right, all right, Jenny, wait a second. Sorry, you're right. I'm just, I'm overreacting. I apologize. Please, I don't want us to be here angry at each other. Do I? I have to learn to control my temper. I do try, Jenny. I really do try. I hope so, Brad. with a smile? Sure. You call that a smile? I don't really know what 
to think about him. I don't really know him. Well, what's your impression of him? What are you asking me? Well, it just seems like he doesn't give such a good impression to most people. And I, I'm curious to find out why I see him in such a different light. Well, maybe you're right and everybody else is wrong. Maybe it's just the opposite. That's a possibility. Jenny, do you know that he came from a kind of bad background? Well, sometimes backgrounds like that can be a good incentive to get your life successful. I think that's where it is with him. I mean, he's so ambitious you wouldn't believe it. I can believe it. No, I don't mean, I don't mean just with money. I mean with learning things like style and, and all the things like that. Oh, well, that could be good if you work at it. He does work at it. He's always trying to make something of himself. I mean, it's just like the job that he's got. Look at that. You mean with Dorian? Yeah. Uh, that shows that he wants to make a success of his life? Well, yes, I think it's an indication that he wants to get a little culture and, and things like that, things that are important to other people. Do you think that he'll get that by being with Dorian? Don't you? Well, I guess, sure, he'd, he'd work at it. That's why he's there. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, what other reason would he put up with that? I don't know, Sam. I really don't know.
matter of fact, you can see your way clear to have dinner with me. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I'm afraid I can't. Did you have to go to the hospital? Yes, they're very strict with visiting hours, you know. Seven to eight, then they just kick you right out. You see Tony this afternoon? For a few minutes, yes. I would imagine he's pretty angry with me. Blocking your quickie divorce, lousing up his plans. I haven't told him yet. Why not? Because I wanted to try one more time to convince you. Is that why you came here? Yes. I should have realized it wasn't just for the pleasure of my company. Please. Please what? I would say that one man is 
seem like it was yesterday, but we've been married almost two years. Two years next Friday. Maybe we should paint the town. I remember that day so well. We came out of the church here. And you had that handsome cab waiting for us right down there. And we drove all around Central Park. We drank champagne. You had everything so beautifully planned that day. Darling, I believe that fate brought us here today. And that this is an omen. That everything is going to turn out just fine.